Well, it really is supposed to look easy for Alito High School. They average 70 points a game. But Friday night winds are now a problem for Alito High School. Good evening. I'm John McKay. And I'm Teresa Woodard. Shelly Slater is off tonight. Three nights ago, Alito beat Fort Worth Western Hills 91 to 0. Now there's an official complaint from a parent saying the team went way too far. News H Jim Douglas is live in Alito tonight. And Jim, this is not the first time the Bearcats have won big. Oh, not at all. They take their football seriously in Alito, so much so that a Western Hills parent accused them of bullying after a 91 to nothing game. But Alito's coach says he actually tried to hold down the score. The Alito Bearcats are the top 4A school in Texas. One state in 09, 10, and 11, undefeated this year, already scored 84 points twice. After Friday's 91 to nothing score, a Western Hills parent filed a bullying complaint. I don't think we bully, no. Uh, Head coach Tim Buchanan says starters had only 21 snaps Friday. Every player in uniform saw action, and Alito agreed to a running clock in the third quarter to keep the score down. Our starting running back touched the ball five times. He scored three touchdowns. Alito superintendent Derek City says the bullying complaint hurt. I don't want to make it a fourth Alito deal at all. You know, we, we want those kids to be successful just like we want our kids to be successful. The superintendent says the solution to such lopsided scores is the UIL needs to put Alito back into a tougher district. It's, it's a good group of kids, and they're good kids. They don't feel good about this. Alito got moved into a district with much weaker Fort Worth schools a couple years ago, but they're also crushing really good teams like Stephenville. Now, Alito superintendent says the bullying complaint will be investigated, but even the opposing coach says his guys weren't bullied, just beaten. Live at Alito, Jim Douglas, Channel 8 News.